All right, Shalom. Call Hello Yumla, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my elders and my apostles, our great millstone who rule well for teaching me the truth. And salutations to you, Akim, out there in the four corners, laboring in the truth and push hold all righteousness and sincerity. And shalom to you, confusion faced brothers who don't look like average everyday Israelite, but you are according to the Holy Scriptures. All right, to you, I say Shalom. There's a brother, Kayaha, here coming back at you with another video through the spirit, man. Just talk about how Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, all right? The Most High and His Son hates Esau and loves Jacob, man. Okay, and how Esau is uh has been chasing uh Jake with the sword from generation to generation, man. Okay, it didn't matter what lifetime Jake was in. All right, Jake, talk about you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It didn't matter what lifetime it was in. Esau was always chasing. The Israelites, man, all right, chasing them down by way of the sword, all right, destroying Israel in some way, shape, or form, okay? Had us in captivity and all that, man, all right? And Yahweh Hashem is about to send heavy judgment on the nation of Edom, all right, these so-called white people, all right, the seed of Esau, the seed of the seed, the seed of the wicked, man, the sons of the wicked, you know? So through the Spirit, I just want to go into that right quick, all right? So with that being said, without further ado, this is the book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 1. It says, the burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. It says, I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Okay, so that's plain. All right, going back up, it says, I have loved you, saith the Lord. And it says, yet ye say, wherein has thou loved us? Because you got Jake out here who like, who, who just talk about why, oh, if God loved us, why is he doing this to us? Why is he just, you know, letting us die and our children get raped and so on and so forth, all right? Israel crying for his captivity, all right? But you Jake's don't understand that you really just brought this upon yourself. And you saw the so-called white man is supposed to be your punishment, okay? So all of this right now, it's, it's ordained by the Lord because Israel went off, right? And this is the Lord answering Jake saying this. It says, was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord, yet I love Jacob. Okay? So, yeah, how about Shimei HaOshah? All right, at the time where Esau and Jacob was born, we're going to go into that a little bit. All right? At the time where Jacob and Esau was born, the Lord chose Jacob. All right, Jake, are you so, Jacob is you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, you, you got... The blessing that's going to be passed down for generation and generation. You are, yeah, like, we got, we got the, the blessing, the best blessing, okay? We about to rule right after Esau, the so-called white man, all right? We, we about to rule the whole world in righteousness, okay? Let's save the scriptures. And then it says what? And I hated Esau. I right, Esau, you so-called white people. The Lord hates you so-called white people, okay? From the, uh, uh, from the dukes. Of um uh, uh Amalek all the way down, man. All right, Amalek is the head child. Was you Karzars over there and um in the land of Israel now? All right, defiling the land with your gay parades, okay? Your pink um your your uh, what is it? Pink city? Are uh, your new beaches and all this other wickedness that Yahweh Shimon Shah is not happy with, man? Okay, the scriptures say a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod. All right, and he, uh, uh, Esau, the so-called white man, all right, those bastards are dwelling in the Asdod. All right, the word bastard means illegitimate son, okay? Yahweh Shem hates you so-called white people. All right, verse 3, and it says, And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Yeah, man, Yahweh about every time, every time uh, uh, Esau builds up a society, Yahweh Shem throws it down. Okay, why? Because the Lord hates Esau, the so-called white man. All right, he didn't get that that better blessing. Okay, the Abba is not dealing with these so-called white people. All right, the Lord gave him over to Satan. Now Satan is ruling over the so-called white man, and he's destroying the land. Okay. Matter of fact, I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull. Um, I'm gonna pull the scripture right here in the book of Ezekiel. Chapter 35, verse 5. All right. It says, Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred 
and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord power, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. So if thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Okay, so going back up, it says, Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by force of the sword. Okay? Because when you go back, let's get the understanding of that scripture. All right, this is the book of Genesis, chapter 27. Let me see. Um, hmm. I think it was Genesis 27 and 41. Yup, kind, kind, kind. Matter of fact, let's go up some. Genesis 27 and 39. All right, this is where Esau and um, Jake was getting a blessing. Okay, this is when they was getting that blessing. It says, and Isaac, his father answered, and said unto him, behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword shalt thou live, and shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass, when thou shalt have the dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. Okay, so Isaac is telling Esau, like these so-called white people, all right, Edom, that they're going to be living by the sword. All right, the word sword means destruction, man. All right, and it could come in any variation. All right, it could be a literal sword. It could be a gun. All right, it could be disease, pestilence. Okay. So Esau, for lack of a better word, he's like the master of destruction right now. All right, that's, that was his blessing, okay, to destroy Jacob with the sword, man. All right, not utterly, but you get the point. It says, and this shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion, okay, meaning when he comes into power, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. Uh, from off thy neck. I mean, what? Esau's going to come into power and break, and break, um... Uh, Jacob's yoke from off his neck, man. All right, so Esau, the so-called white man, was going to have full control. All right, but it's only going to be for a short time, you know? And we see that, that time coming to an end right now. But continuing on to verse 41, it says, And Esau hated Jacob. It says, And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. All right, this is, here's where that perpetual hatred comes in. All right, it says, Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing. Right? It says, And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of my father, Salakit, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. Okay? So that's Esau's perpetual hatred against you, uh, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans because of that blessing. All right, that's what it all goes back to. That's the reason why these so-called white people and you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans can't get along because it's all the so-called white man is bearing a grudge against you. All right, a heavy, perpetual, generational grudge, man. Okay? So there's no getting along with these so-called white people. All right? So now that we have understanding of Ezekiel 35 and 5, it says, because thou, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword. Esau's blessing was the sword. In the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. I mean, a what? There was um, uh, times that we was uh, going to get out of uh, slavery, all right, or anyone's captivity. And you saw the so-called white man would, would help out the oppressors, man. Okay? Cheering on the fact that Jake is getting destroyed. And they would come help destroy us too, man. They still, they still are destroying us. All right, verse six, it says, therefore, as I live, thus saith the Lord power, I will prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. All right. So Yahabah Shema is saying, what? I'm going to come after you now. All right. Now that because you went after my people, now I'm going to come after you. All right. Yahabah Shema Shah is, is righteous, man. Okay. So it's going to be a lot of, hey, in, 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 the, um, in the end times, man, okay, in the beginning of the kingdom, all right, up until these up until these Edomites get destroyed, man, all right, after a thousand years, you so-called white people are going to have your blood shed, man, children dashed to pieces, okay, and so on and so forth, 
All right, everything that you did to the nation of Israel, y'all gonna get it back tenfold, man, hundredfold. You know, and it's gonna be it's gonna be righteous killings, man. All right, we we can't we can't rape your wives. All right, we we gonna we gonna kill the husband and we're gonna torture everybody, man. All right, that's how you how about Shema Shah is gonna prepare you into blood. You know, and we see these changes coming in the last days. You got these so-called white people hooked on opioids and and uh, 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 all of the rest of the stuff out here. Okay, the Lord is not playing with you so-called white people. You know, verse seven it says, "Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut off from it him that passeth out and him." That returneth. Yeah, man. Yeah, how about Shema Shah say he's going to make Mount Seir most desolate? Okay? The word Seir means hairy. Okay? Mean, uh, going, going, uh, again, going back to Esau, the so-called white man. All right? Because when Esau was born, the scriptures say he came out red all over like a hairy garment. Okay? And if you look at Esau, when they get old, these Edomites, when they get older, they get real hairy. All right? Esau is the hairiest man on this, this goddamn earth, man. All right? So we know who the wicked is. All right, we know who Esau Edom is. All right, these, these so-called white people. All right, and they're not white. They're red, by the way. Okay? So let's go to Obadiah. The book of Obadiah. And let's, um... I forgot what scripture was. What, uh... Oh, yeah, kind. Yep, Obadiah 1 and 10. It says, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. All right? And that's going to happen when the kingdom come. These so-called white people are going to be cut off forever, man, after a thousand years. All right? The scriptures say he's going to be thrown into a pit. All right? And hey, and this this is only righteous, man. All right? The scriptures say what? It is it is a righteous thing. It is a righteous thing to re uh, reward. Matter of fact, I don't want to butcher it, man. Let me just get it. All right, seeing slot you. Yeah, kind, kind. This is the book of Second um, Second Thessalonians, chapter one, verse six. It says, "Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you." All right, who's who's troubling us right now? This goddamn devil, man. He saw the so-called white man. All right, he's troubling us right now, man. Putting us through hell, ravishing our wives, ravishing the men, children, okay? Scattering our families, man, all right? Taking our vineyards by force, killing us off, sex trafficking. All of this has been done to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But you still want to be hand-in-hand -hand with this goddamn devil, man. All right? And to you Uncle Toms, y'all just going to get the same damn destruction as him. If y'all don't come back to the Lord, which y'all not. All right, two thirds, you know. But the Lord said it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you, okay. But we have to wait on the Lord, man. All right, we can't be brothers can't be in that Nat Turner spirit. Oh, I want to get him now. I want to get him now. And that's Jake's spirit. All right, Jake is hasty as hell. Jake don't know how to suffer. Jake don't know how to get through this captivity. It's either he having fun or he's trying to get out of it too soon. All right. But the men of the Lord are waiting on you. How about how was shot? The men of the Lord are waiting on the Lord, man. Okay? Because we, we know that that day is coming. So we're going to put our goddamn enemies in chains, man. Not just Esau, the so-called white man, but these goddamn East Indians, Elam, these, these Hamites, these Africans. Okay? And all of the rest of these nations, man. We're going to put them in chains. All right? It, it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense uh, 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 tribulation to them that trouble you, man. Okay? So let me get this last scripture, and I'm going to close it up through the Spirit, man. All right? This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 9. Okay? It says, if any man have an ear, let him hear. Okay, with your spiritual ears, man, because this is this is that righteous thing that's coming soon. Okay, it says, "He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity, and he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword." Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. All right, so this is what the saints is waiting on. The saints starting with the elect, man.
The 144,001 third. Alright, we want to put our enemies, Lord willing we be those men. We want to put our enemies in chains, man. Okay, we want these goddamn devils dead. For everything that they did to the nation of Israel, man. Everything that they did to us, man. So that trouble is about to come down up upon their head tenfold. Alright? This is the patience. This is why the saints suffer, man. This is why the elect suffers, man. Alright? Allow this hell to come down upon them. Because we're waiting for the Lord. Lord willing to be those men. We're waiting for the Lord. How about Shimi Hawashah? Okay? So we can put these damn devils into chains, man. All right, and slay them like they slayed us. Okay? It's only righteous, right? You know? Well, with that being said, Lord willing, I was edifying to Akim. Call Allah, Yahabashimi, Hawashah, and Shalom.